All right, so in today's video, we are going to build this pretty nice input with a little animation, okay, with the label right there. I saw that animation on Google Form or YouTube or websites like that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how to code that. All right, let's go. So here we are in VS Code with three simple files, app.js, index, HTML, and style CSS. Okay, so let's start with the HTML actually. Open with live server right there. Okay, this is an extension right there, just to um, open a live server, a local uh, server. So we need a div with the class of imp container and a label inside, a label, a label inside with for name and enter your name. Okay, great. And below we are going to put an input with the ID of name and the class of imp a name like that. Okay. So we have a pretty simple input and label. And when you link the attribute for an ID, well, when you click on the label, it will focus the input. Okay. So now in our CSS, we do have a simple reset and a body with a background color and font family. Great. So imp container. Okay. It will have, um, it will have a width of 70%. Great. A max width of 600 pixel, a position absolute top 40%, left 50%, transform, translate minus 50, minus 50. So this is a pretty simple trick to center, center elements. Okay, and here I put 40, but if you want it to be perfectly centered, you put 50, 50 and minus 50, minus 50. Uh, but uh, it looks a little bit too, um, to the bottom. So I want to push it a little bit. So yeah, here I'm just putting 40%. Okay, great. So now for the input actually, imp anim, a width of 100%, some padding, 25 pixel. We are removing the border and the outline. And we are going to run the, the border. So border radius of 10 pixel and a font size of 25 pixel. Okay, great. So when you put padding on input, it will really look better actually. So yeah, uh, try to think about padding every time you are building some form. Okay, so now we are going to style the label and we do want the label to be okay in the center of our input. Okay, so right now it's there and we want it to be in the center of our input. So a font size of 25 pixel, a position absolute, color 333, which is dark and top 50%, transform translate Y, Y, so on the Y axis, minus 50. Okay. And okay, now it's perfectly centered on the Y axis. So this is perfect uh, with top 50 and transform translate minus 50. And now we are going to push it from left to right. So padding left uh, 20 pixel and then a transition all 0 0.3 second linear. Mm, let, let me see. Oh, is out, is out. I've put is out right there. Uh, we don't need all actually there. Uh, we'd, we we can just put top right there and padding left too. Okay, so padding left right there or just padding. 0 0.3 second is out. Great. So we are putting a transition on two properties instead of every properties. It's better for performance and uh, yeah, it's, it's just better. Okay, so right now, nothing nothing is happening if i write something it will just write the text and we will have the label in front of it so it's not it's not good actually we need to uh, use a little bit of css and javascript so for the css part we are going to say in container focus within label top minus 25 24 pixel and a padding left of zero pixel right there. Okay. So when there is focus inside our imp container, so inside this, it will trigger this pseudo class, pseudo class. Okay. Focus within, which is a um, self explanatory. So look, there is a focus now and up 
it, it get pushed to the top. Okay, perfect, this is nice. So now imagine I put my name there, great, but if I lose the focus, if I click elsewhere, look, the label will go down and it's, it's logic, there, there is no focus inside anymore. So in JavaScript, I need to, to put a class when um, there is something written inside the input, okay? So um, I will put a comma there and then in container, point active input label. Okay, so this is the same, but we need to add a class with JavaScript now, okay? So it will be simple. Look, we go in our app.js file, const imp container equal document.query selector imp container, imp container, great. Uh, so yeah, whoops. Okay, so yeah, I will keep it zoom a little bit for people who are seeing this on a mobile phone. Const input equal document that query selector imp anim like that. Okay, great. So now input dot add event listener, which one the input event, which is triggered every time we write something in an input. So it can be a text input, a number input, or a range, a slider, everything like that. Okay, so we run the function with the E parameter to have access to the event object. So if E that targets that value, if our input is strictly different than an empty string, so if there is something written in our input, E that target that parent node, that class list, that add, active input, active input right there. Okay, so if something is written inside our input, okay, we are going to add the active input class to the parent of our input. What is the parent? It's our div right there, okay? So look, here I'm writing Enzo. I'm opening my console, okay? So if you want it to be undocked, you, you click on these three dots and undock right there, okay? So right there, up, up, right. So right now, if we go on our DOM right there, you see that our div, our container, do have this active input class. So this is this is perfect. And uh, if I click elsewhere, actually, since there is something inside our input, it will uh, keep the active input, okay? So this is great. But if you remove everything, it will keep the, the class, actually. So we do not want that. So else if e that targets that value is strictly equal to an empty string. You can copy that and paste it right there. And you remove this time, okay? You are removing it, okay? So if you want to see it, it's like that, okay? If there is something writ written inside, you just put the active input. And if not, you are just removing that class. Pretty simple to do, right? So now, look, I'm putting the focus, okay? So with CSS, there is a little animation. And if I'm writing something inside, it will uh, stay, uh, stay still. And if I click elsewhere, it will stay still. And if I delete everything and lose the focus, it will go back. So this is perfect. Congratulations, now you, you know how to do this pretty, pretty nice animation. Okay, so I hope you understood me well, actually. I think my English will get better over time uh, when I'm recording videos. So see you next time. Bye.